a common question is the role of mental illness in estrangement. And I believe it's a very, very common cause of estrangement. I think there's a lot that's commonly known about the way that mentally ill parents might create an estrangement. So for example, if a parent uh, is mentally ill, it might cause them to be more abusive of the child when they're younger or their child when they're grown. It may affect their fitness to be a grandparent. Uh, it may leave long lasting scars in the part of the child when they were young that would make them less, less interested in reconciling with the parent when they're older, even if the parent's willing to do the work towards reconciliation. So I think there's a fair amount that's been written about the role of mentally ill parents and how that affects children and probably adult children relationships. What doesn't get talked about enough is the way that the child's own mental illness can affect uh, the apparent adult child relationship. And part of it has to do with the myth that all mental illness stems from poor parenting. The reality is, yes, certainly some mental illness stems from parenting, um, but, but hardly all of it. We know that, that in addition to parenting, it can be genetics, it can be random good luck, it can be random bad luck, it can be siblings, it can be social uh, and economic class. So all of, it can be the era that you're born into. So for example, the um, researcher Jing Twenge at San Diego State University um, has done a lot of research on generations, and she published a report recently that found that for Gen Z kids, that's a generation that's coming up, you know, behind the, um, the millennials, the younger generation co cohort, have high rates of depression, anxiety, and um, suicidality. And what she found was that the cohort, meaning the age that you're born into, the generation that you're born into, is also a powerful predictor of mental illness. So the idea that all mental illness stems from bad parenting is really a myth, but it's a very popular myth. And it's a myth that actually contributes a lot to misunderstandings. It's common that an adult child may enter adulthood and say, well, I have anxiety or I have depression or I have um, suicidality, and it's because of your parental failures. Now, some of the time, of course, that's true. Uh, but it's just not true all of the time. And it sometimes makes navigating that territory very difficult. But mental illness is also problematic if the adult child is married to somebody who's mentally ill, or if the parent, you know, remarries somebody who's mentally ill. All of those things can really compound and exacerbate an estrangement, make reconciliation far more tricky and far more difficult. 